This week on Dear Veronica, magnets. How do they work? Welcome back to Dear Veronica. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont. As you guys probably know, or can at least sense intuitively, social media has created all new norms and etiquette that we have to navigate every day. Now, there are no rules set in stone, but it's pretty obvious when something feels a little, how do I say, off even if the behavior itself is basically benign. Take this question from Sunbun on Twitter, for example. Dear Veronica, what are your thoughts on people on your social media feeds who are chronic likers? What can you do with them? So this sounds like a very first world problem, right? It kind of is. But at the same time, it's hard to deny that it's a little weird when you log into Instagram and see that the same person has hearted like all of your photos in order. It kind of makes you wonder what the thought process there was. Wow, literally every single photo here is perfect and willing of my approval. Or, I like this person. I want to let them know in the most obsessive way possible. Either way, this phenomena can span social networks and become kind of a weird nuisance. So I had a guy on Swarm liking every single one of my check-ins, and I didn't even know him all that well. My first mistake. My other friends would only like something if they were with me or liked the place I was visiting or whatever. It almost felt like he was trolling me somehow. So I unfriended him, and I paired my friends list way down. So you need to make a decision. Can you live with it? Or should you unfriend or block if the behavior feels creepy or stalkerish? Or if you know them well enough, maybe drop them a note and say, dude, chill with the likes. I don't even like me that much. Up next, magnets. How do they work? Specifically in regards to electronics. Dear Veronica, when I was a kid, we were warned to keep all magnets far away from electronics. Now they're everywhere. What changed? Thanks, Philip A. Shane. You have been sending in some good ones lately. To answer this question, I'm turning it over to Engadget editor Andrew Tarantola. It's a different story with, with modern technology. Uh, today's platter hard drives uh, use a powerful neodymium magnet to operate the read-write head. And since the strength of the magnetic field drops for the cube of the distance between the magnet and whatever it's affecting, you'd need an exceptionally powerful commercial magnet or industrial magnet to actually affect it. Same goes for solid state drives and flash drives and any sort of non-volatile memory. These days, there are even magnets in a lot of modern electronics. The iPhone 6 uses magnets for its compass feature. Um, that's not to say that you should store your phone in a bag of magnets, because if you do, uh, some of the steel parts within the phone itself could become magnetized, and that causes all sorts of bad calibration issues. But for the most part, no, magnets these days are not gonna adversely affect your electronics. Very interesting, thank you, Andrew. All right, moving on. Now we've all had some experience at this point trying to talk with artificial intelligence like Siri, Alexa, or Cortana. The one thing I feel they all have in common is the tendency to, well, not really understand us all that well. Must be a cultural thing. But Twitter user MattBad0 found a strange workaround. Dear Veronica, why do apps like Siri work better when you sing to them? Now, this is not something I've actually tested before. Let's see if she likes it. What's the weather today? Here's the forecast for today. Where's the nearest Muni station? I didn't find any matching places. What is the weather in Los Angeles? Okay, here's the weather for Los Angeles between today and February 19th, 2016. That was really specific. Results are inconclusive. However, it's a known phenomena that people singing tend to lose some of their accent. People we may find difficult to understand when they talk due to a heavy accent sound almost neutral when they sing. The things that make an accent, like intonation and rhythm, can be canceled out by the melody and beat of a song. So it's possible that singing to artificial intelligence might actually make you easier to understand to Siri. She's not all that bright anyhow. I don't know where you are. Okay, that about wraps up this episode. Thanks for all the questions, everyone. Keep them coming by tweeting me with the hashtag Dear Veronica, and they'll automatically be entered into my Google Sheet of Doom. I'll see you next time. Oh, huh? Huh? I hurt. <laughs> what's the weather today? Sorry, I missed that. Hey Siri, what's the weather like today? I don't know where you are, but you can help me find out by turning on location services. No. Or you can just tell me where to check the weather. What's the weather today? I don't know where you are, but you can help me find out by turning on location services. Okay. Or you can just... This episode of Dear Veronica was brought to you by Go90.